Hello and welcome back to the course. In this next lesson, I'm going to be teaching you the best way to set up the employee self-service portal. So this way your employees can log in, submit time off requests, view their time off balances, and much more. So after you've added your employees to the system, the way to set up the employee self-service portal is to click the employees menu button and then find the link that says self-service. Here you'll see a list of all of your employees so that you can send them invites to their self-service portals in bulk all at once. If you'd like to remove an employee from this list, say you have a contractor who won't need to sign in to their self-service portal or any other reason, you can go ahead and remove their name by clicking the X icon. When you're ready to send the invites, go ahead and click Send Invites button. Now, on the employee side, they'll receive an email with their HR partner invite. And just as an example, this is what it'll look like on their end. Now, the first step for them will be setting their password. So to get started, they will want to click this link that says click here to set your password. Now your employee will be able to set their HR partner password and please keep in mind that the set password link will eventually expire for security. So once they get their invite, it's in their best interest to get their account set up right away. All right, now as you can see, when your employee logs in, they'll be able to view their time off balances right here. And in order to send a time off request, they can just click this leave tab here at the bottom of the menu. Then they click add leave request and they'll be able to fill out all of their details for the time off request. As you can see in the portal, they'll also be able to view company news and announcements. They can also view a company directory with more information about the people on their team. Now, one question we get asked a lot is, is there a way to view my employee's screen before sending them an invite? So in many cases, you might want to view the employee's side of things to see what it looks like and make sure everything's good to go before sending off their invites. If that's the case, then yes, absolutely, you can view their employee screen before inviting them to the system if you'd like. What you can do is click the employee's name from the employee list, scroll down, and under employment information, there's a little button that says view as employee, this orange button here at the bottom. You click that and then you as an admin user will be able to view everything from their perspective before sending off that invite. All right, that's about it. Well done. In this lesson, you're able to learn how to set up the employee self-service portal and invite your employees to the system quickly and easily. Thanks and looking forward to seeing you in the next lesson.